Hi everyone, my name is Barakat Kindo, and today I'm going to talk about packages. What are packages? How you install them? How do you load them to your active session so you can actually use them? And if you need to update an installed package to its current version, how do you do that? And if you need to uninstall a package, how do you remove a package installation? That's what we're going to cover today. What is an R package? An R package is a collection of programs or scripts of code that are put together or packaged together to serve some overarching purpose. I think this will make more sense if I use a few examples. What you see on the screen is a description of the R package ggplot2. ggplot2 is an R package used to create beautiful plots and graphs using the grammar of graphics methodology. And this implementation of plotting or graphing is not part of the, the core R functionality. So this ggplot2 package adds new functionality or new functionalities to existing core R program. Let's look at another example for additional, you know, idea of what R packages do. This is a brief description of a package called glmnet. It implements the, uh, the lasso and the last technique generalized linear model methodology. The authors of this lasso and elastic net statistical method released this package to allow others to implement lasso and elastic net, or even perhaps extend the functionalities of glmnet package. Authors of new statistical and machine learning methods can use an R package to share an implementation of their research. And this allows others to download and implement and extend this new methods. So these two examples, I hope, give you an idea of what an, what an R package does or what R packages do. Essentially, packages are reusable codes or packages of codes that extend core R functionalities or add new functionalities to R. How do you install a package, an R package? As you can see, I am using RStudio as my editor or as my integrated development environment. RStudio is the popular editor or integrated development environment or ID for R. See the video we made on installing R and RStudio if you would like to install this, if, you, if you'd like to install RStudio, which I highly recommend. One way to install our package is to go to the menu of our studio, click on tools, then click on install packages. That will open up a window in which you can type the name of the package you want to install. Let's say we want to install the package ggplot2. When I type ggplot2, it shows me a list of packages whose name starts with ggplot2. I pick ggplot2 and click install. Then RStudio immediately executes the command install that packages to install the package I wanted to install. All right, make sure to check the package is successfully installed. As you can see down here, R would typically give you information or warnings or errors related to installation execution. The other way to install an R package, as you may have guessed already, is to directly use the command install dot packages. That is install dot packages. And in parentheses, you write the name of the package you would like to install. Let's install another package named glmnet using this method. We type install dot packages in parentheses. We write the name of the package in codes. Make sure to have the package name in codes. Otherwise you will get an error like this. So in codes, I would write glmnet. Execute that uh, using the control plus enter since I'm using Windows and RStudio. Or you can go down uh, in the console and type it directly there. And when you press enter, it goes ahead and executes that command. It goes on to install the other, if there are any other needed packages and complete the installation successfully. You do not need to reinstall a package every time you use it. This installed package will be stored in a folder or directory on your computer. This folder is much like a library that contains different packages. 
if you want to use a specific package, then you go to that library and pick one up and check it out. So essentially the command that does that for you is the library command, which will load a package to your current R session. The command library and in parentheses, the name of the package loads the package to your current R session. For example, to load the package we installed earlier, I can use the library open parentheses and in quotes, I write the name of the package, which is ggplot2. And if I enter this, then this library will be loaded. You can also install other, you can also load other libraries just like that. The purpose of this video is not really to show the functionality of a specific package, but to illustrate, I will create a scatter plot using the ggplot2 package. First, I generate the data frame with two columns, X and Y. And let's say that data frame has 50 observations where X is a random sample from uniform zero one, minimum zero, maximum one distribution. And Y is a random number from a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation of one. Then I create a scatter plot using the ggplot2 package. The function that is part of ggplot2 uh, that I can use to do that is ggplot function. By the way, if you want to see the function and objects included in a specific package, you type the name of the package followed by two columns and that would list the functions. Then the function ggplot, I have a parentheses, one of the arguments of that function is data. What data do you feed in so that you can create graphics out of it? So the data is the one I just created, uh, df, data frame containing the data. And then the mapping would be the aesthetic x equals x and y, y x and y are the columns of the data frame I created. And the type of graphics I want to display here is I create as this a scatter plot, which is uh, represented by geo geometric points. So geom underscore point. I close the parentheses, press enter, and then this will create a scatter plot of the two variables I just created a minute or two ago. I hope this helps explain how you load a package that is currently installed and uh, how you use it in your current session. Connect to this. If you do not need the package loaded in your current R session anymore, you can unload it using the command detach. So the command detach in parentheses, I would have codes. Then I would use the, the syntax package colon ggplot2. Okay, when I enter this, it will unload the package from my current session. Note that you need to use the syntax package colon followed by the name of the package to unload it or to detach it. Once detached or unloaded, if I try to use the package, I will get an error. For example, in this case, if I try to do the plot again, it shows me an error that it could not find the function dplot. Okay, as we continue our discussion on our packages, now let's talk about updating an R package to a latest or a later version. There may be R packages that you want an updated or a latest version. These are two functions that help you with updating your um, installed packages. One of them is alt.packages and then the next one is updates.packages. Let's go through them. When I used the command, the R command alt.package, open parentheses, close parentheses, execute that, I get an informational table that contains um, packages that have later or newer suitable versions of the package on the CRAN servers. By the way, the CRAN, C-R-A-N, stands for a comprehensive R archive network. And it is a network of servers around the world that house exactly the same copies of R software and also accompany packages. The information I get when I use alt.packages are the following. See, what the, see the, you can see the name of the package that needs or that has a suitable newer or later version on CRAN. I also get where it's installed on my computer, the library location. I get the version of the package that is installed on my machine. I also get the version of R which this package is installed for. 
then I get the newer or the latest version of the package available on CRAN. I can then use this information and update the package using update.package command. For example, it shows uh, on my screen that, as you can see, it shows that I have the version 2.0.1 of the package read R installed on my computer. And a later version of 2.0.2 is available on CRAN. I can update to 2.0.2 using the command update.packages. And in parentheses, I would use the argument old pkgs, old packages, equals read R and codes, and then close the parentheses. And then this will update, if I execute this, this will update the package read R and also any other packages that this package is dependent upon. Now you may want to ask, what if I do not specify the argument old pack pkgs for this function? If I don't specify that, it will update all packages installed on my computer that have a newer or a later version CRAN service on CRAN uh, servers. So you can definitely use the command update.packages without any specific argument, but you have to know that it's gonna, it might take a little time. Um, so I hope this helps you learn or understand how you update a package, an R package that is already installed on your computer and has a later version on CRAN uh, servers. Let's now discuss what are the contents of an R package, okay? An R package, almost all of them that are vetted by the community and are uploaded on CRAN would have a description. So for example, if I want to find out the description of the package ggplot2, I'm gonna use the command ggplot2 I'm sorry, help ggplot2, and I will see a description of the package here. Uh, that it is a, an elegant visualization using, using grammar of graphics. It has the names of the authors and other contributors. Um, so it has a description of the package and what it does. And our package also includes, of course, modules and functions that help you use the package. So if I wanna, a list of functions that are implemented under the ggplot2 package. I can type ggplot2 colon colon two columns following each other, and then you see a list of functions and other objects that are included in the package. So if I, for instance, um, want to do a, a bar plot or let's say a box plot using ggplot2, I can use the function geometric box plot. So that's the function inside gplot2. I can find the, the description of that function. So let me type help in parentheses geom, geom underscore box plot. And when I do that, that will display a description of the function. So an R package not only includes the description of the function itself, an R package not only includes the description of the package itself, it also sometimes includes the description of the functions or other objects that are in the package. So this you can see is a description of uh, this function that would help you plot a box plot. And interesting enough, usually, not always, this uh, description or documentation includes example code, okay, that you can try. It also includes the arguments of the function and the outputs of the function as well, and computed values and so on. So I'm just gonna copy the last bit of this example. And uh, so, you, so uh, you know, we can see how you can actually just go, go type, go get help on a specific function, copy the example code you have, read through it, try to understand it, try to modify it. And that's sort of how you, you know, learn more and more. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna uh, paste it exactly the way it is and it would produce a box plot. Usually working examples are the ones you find in the documentation of the package. Okay, so I said it includes the, the purpose of the function, the argument of the function, the outputs of the function, examples of the, the function, and so on. Some R packages come with data sets in them. And this specific uh, data package we, we are looking at actually comes with a data set. Uh, 
Let's find out ggplot two dot dot all the contents of that um, all the contents of this package will be displayed now. I'm gonna scroll up and see until I stop on when I hit a data set. So you see that is a data set TX housing. Okay, and that print a few lines. So you can see that includes a, a data set which contains city, year, month, sales, volume, and so on. You can do, you want a description of that, of, of that. If you want to specifically find out what that data set is all about, you can do help and type the name of the data set and then you will see uh, it is housing sales Texas. Packages are well documented, usually well documented compilation or collection of codes, modules, objects such as data sets and put together to, to make one overarching, to make, to make sure one overarching objective is achieved.